Hey, what's up everyone? It's the Spookster Guy here. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a bit of a Halloween Kills update for you. Wow, this is strange because I've never done a video on Halloween Kills before, but here we are. So on May 16th, Blumhouse held a watch party for Halloween 2018 where you can tweet along alongside the actors, Jamie Lee Curtis, Andy Matichak, Judy Greer, James Jude Courtney, David Gordon Green, Ryan Turek, etc. They were all there and they provided a lot of cool information, uh, such as the scene with Oscar was cut short due to the cops saying there's a lot of screaming, they gotta be out of there by dawn, some stuff like that. Brian Turk also provided a lot of cool behind the scenes images for us, so I found that really cool. I always love behind the scenes images. There's just something so fascinating about it. But alongside the cool stuff about Halloween 2018, we also found out some stuff about Halloween Kills. Some people thought we were going to get a trailer, which didn't seem too realistic to me. I thought at least we were going to get a poster, but that obviously wasn't the case. But what we did get was actually pretty neat. We found out some really cool stuff about Halloween Kills, such as someone said, I wish Hawkins had survived. David Gordon Green replies, oh do you? To me this implies that Hawkins is alive and quite frankly I do think he is. There's a huge possibility, I don't know 100% for sure, but I think he is. I mean why would David Gordon Green even say that? So to me, I think Hawkins is alive. Now I don't think he'll play a huge role in the movie, but he might in Halloween Ends if he's alive. I don't know. This all depends on what happens in Halloween Kills. He could even be in a flashback, but it wouldn't be Will Patton. It would be a different actor playing a younger Hawkins. David Gordon Green and a few other actors also actually said that Halloween Kills takes on a whole new meaning in violence. So if all this hype about the violence is true, Halloween Kills is going to be pretty intense. David Gordon Green, during the bathroom scene, said that this was his most violent scene since the Pineapple Express, but then Halloween Kills. To me, that sounds that Halloween Kills is going to be pretty gnarly. Not only that, but someone had said, Hey David, is the Myers House going to be in Halloween Kills? And he simply replied, yes. Yes guys, the Myers House is coming back. That to me is really cool. And will it be in the flashback or will we see it in present day? We might see it in both actually. I think it's highly possible. I actually thought that this was the Myers House, but both Ryan Freeman and Ryan Turk both confirmed that this was not the Myers House. I mean, if it was, they wouldn't let it slip so easily into the teaser if it's just a background image. So I kind of thought it wasn't, but it looks pretty, uh, pretty close. But the Myers House is an iconic location to the Halloween franchise with only few minor appearances in Halloween 1 and 2, and with big appearances in Halloween 5, 6, and Resurrection and at that the Rob Zombie Halloween film, a little small appearance in Zombies Halloween too. So will the Myers house have a big appearance or will it have just a sm small minor appearance in Halloween Kills? That we'll find out. Ryan Freeman also told me that they actually were really faithful to the house, so I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what the Myers house looks like. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's more run down than it was, but yeah, I'm still interested to see like what it's like. Now, as I said earlier, some fans were expecting a trailer or at least a poster, which we didn't get either of, but David Gordon Green at least did provide an update on the trailer, saying that they're still strategizing plans for the realities on, of the world, you know, like, is it going to be safe to start the marketing campaign? They're approaching it safely, which I totally don't blame them. They don't want to release a trailer and then they have to push back the movie, which I don't think will happen, but... You know, let's say they, they do have that and then they have a trailer online, they're like, well, this is all for nothing. And marketing's expensive, guys, so they have to be really careful on how they spend this money. David Gordon Green says he wants to release more stuff, hopefully soon. He just has to have the A-OK -okay from Blumhouse. So they're still working on it, but I'm assuming it's almost done. But to me, it sounds like they're just approaching this safely and they're just waiting, sort of. So my best guess is... When theaters start slowly opening back up and the next movie comes out in theaters, they're probably going to release that around the same time. So we might see a trailer maybe late June, maybe sometime in July. I know that's a bit of a wait, but I think honestly it's worth it. Um, we just got to be patient and um, I'm totally fine with waiting as long as we get something. Also, I heard somewhere online that Halloween Kills is officially finished with its post-production, that the music is done and it's all edited, and David Gordon Green is currently just doing the final cut to Halloween Kills. If that's true, then that's pretty exciting. I can't wait to hear the new soundtrack. I think it's going to be great. John Carpenter knocked it out of the park with Halloween 2018 soundtrack, so I know he's going to do it even more this time with Halloween Kills. Also, on an unrelated note, Kyle Richards also broke her nose during one of the big scenes in Halloween Kills. I'm kind of curious as to as to what scene that is. Um, I guess I'll be on the lookout for it. I'm only assuming it's like 
somewhere around this scene. So that's all the Halloween Kills news I have, but I'll keep you guys updated, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below. Are you guys ready for Halloween Kills? Are you guys excited for it? Are you ready for the trailer? Let me know all this stuff in the comments below. I'll keep you guys updated with everything. I also have a special video coming out soon, so look forward to that. See ya.